Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2 House of Wessex gameplay. So last episode we were on the brink of declaring war on the Earl Osmond of Sussex and uh, we almost have enough, uh, well we almost have enough piety and we need a little bit, a tad bit more uh, gold or uh, ducats I should say and we should be on our way. We had a crazy epidemic on our hands, unfortunately we still do, and because of that we cannot uh, make uh, a proper alliance with uh, King Carl of West Francia. Now it could be cheap and I could like send him a gift and try to, uh, like once I'm out of hiding, I could uh, send him a gift and try to like get him that way on our side, but let's see what happens. Let's see where fate takes us. And I have an unmarried heir. Uh, the throat can marry, so once uh, this epidemic passes, what is this epidemic by the way? I haven't been uh, paying attention. It's consumption, ladies and gentlemen. So we need to be very careful and as soon as it's over we need to be quick and get our heir married. After spending lots of time with few people, you have been positively surprised by Wolf Gifu. Wolf Gifu, she's my wife right there. Uh, during uh, this difficult time, you have gotten to know and understand her well. In many ways, she compliments you nicely, and you have a good time together. I have gained a friend. Aw, oh, Wolf Gifu. Fantastic. This is going to help me out a lot. Uh, yeah, she does like me quite a bit. And hopefully we get a couple of more kids so I can... At least a few more daughters so that we can gain some more alliances that way. Now, we are going to focus on heavy infantry, as I usually do while playing in uh, England in the British Isles. And the other thing that we could focus on is castle infrastructure. So hopefully this epidemic passes and we do gain an actually, let's see if we can declare war on Sari and see if... Uh, how much do we need for you? Same 180 gold and 200 piety. So... Uh, yeah, he's around in the same uh, same range. He has the same categories for uh, declaring war on him. Uh, King Oswald of uh, Cornwall, he's doing pretty well. Not too well on the prestige marker, though, I should say, so not too well. He does have a pact, though. That's with his spouse. And uh, this is a good time for some historical uh, storytelling. So, historically speaking, uh, the kingdoms of uh, the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms, uh, like Wessex and Mercia and East Anglia and all these uh, little kingdoms, they used to have a very, uh, I, I should say, complex, uh, or not even complex, they used to have a very uh, significant style of election system for who would rule the kingdom next. Uh, like we know, after the Norman conquest of England, it was usually basically agnatic cognatic primogeniture, which means that if there's a male heir to inherit, the oldest male heir inherits. If there's a female heir to inherit and there's no male heirs at all whatsoever, they will inherit the kingdom instead. So that way it would stay within the family, but uh, in, it, like in this time period specifically, uh, in the Viking Age, uh, they would have these elections and it didn't necessarily pass down to the son or the daughter of the king but sometimes even the niece or nephews would end up inheriting the kingdom that way and they would like cast their ballots and cast their votes and that's by the way how King Alfred became king he wasn't in the line of succession but uh, because uh, the king's son uh, was uh, too young and he couldn't rule and they all w w voted in the Witten I should say uh, they the, that was the system that was called back then. They voted in the Witten, and the Witten decided who would be the next king, and they chose King Alfred since he was a very good leader and politician at the time. Uh, after the council meeting, Chancellor Elmond asked me to exchange a few words in private. Apparently, he has uncovered a rumor concerning a rare artifact. Elmond believed there was some truth to the rumor and urged me to have a search arranged, okay? It's a good idea, Chancellor. You should uh, arrange the search, and uh, you have my thanks. Uh, let him arrange the search, yeah. Let him do that while we 
see what can we do in the time being. Uh, almost there with the wealth. Actually, we do have enough now to declare war on him, so let's do it anyway. I know we have an epidemic on our hands, but we are going to do it anyway. For some time now, I have been worried about the Chancellor Elman's progress, or rather, a lack thereof. Now my worst fears have been confirmed as a consequence of Elman's uh, carelessness and accident uh, has occurred and a large amount of resources and documentation was ruined. Ooh. So he... Elmond here, who was our Chancellor, he messed up a little bit, but uh, that's okay. We can re recover and recoup. So his, uh, his diplomacy has gone down a bit. I wonder... Although we don't have very good candidates, like uh, Herwald, the bishop here, is 73 years old, so he will not be with us for very long. And um, Wolfston, the other bishop, has only got one more uh, skill point than him. Although he is a scholarly theologian, but that won't help us out too much. Anyway, let us attack Sussex. I'm going to declare war on you, Earl of Sussex. Um, are going for a border dispute. Does he have any packs? No. There we go, and we will raise our forces. And all of you gather here in Wessex. And as he gathers his men there, they will not be enough to defeat us. So hopefully this is going to be a stomp and done, hopefully. If I'm not mistaken, if he doesn't hire any mercenaries. There we go, let's merge you guys up. And choose some commanders. Uh, you can be... Do I want my son leading one of the flanks though? He's a misguided warrior. Combat modifier. Morale damage, cruel. Um, yeah, he can lead one of the flanks, why not? Although I am being a bit risky this way, but, uh, yeah, why not? We have a huge amount of men as compared to him. We are going to march right in, and we are going to ask our Chancellor, for now, at least, to perform some statecraft. Keep all the vassals happy while we are at war and we have their troops raised. Defensive pact opposing Momir has been disbanded. Okay, he is Momir the Drunkard. That does not concern us right now. As we siege this down, we can just ramp up the speed a little bit. Hopefully siege down his entire holding right here. How many holdings does he have? Okay. So we're done with that one too, 100%, there we go. Offer peace, enforce our demands. And we have defeated the Earl Osmond. And we're going to lower our troops, hopefully. He is one of our vassals now, if I'm not mistaken, yes. And he has a diplomacy of 17. So what we can do is we can replace our Chancellor with him. That'll make him a little bit happy. Uh, Chancellor Edmund can no longer fulfill his duty to search for the rumored artifact. I can select another Counselor to replace him. Okay. That is completely fine. We can unlock the gates here. There you go. The gates are opened. And uh, we are having a grand time overall. Oh, uh, we could declare war on him next. Or I could just have my Chancellor uh, perform uh, statecraft. Uh, maybe send him a little bit of a gift. I don't want to grant him a landed title because he already has this title here. Uh, I do not want to give him more power than he already has. I could create the Duchy of Somerset and make my son even more powerful. Uh, he can, in fact, uh, he did get married, though his wife doesn't like him, uh, or his wife doesn't like me too much, I should say. But there you go, we got our first county in the game. 
King Alpha of Mercia is trying to usurp my title. His Chancellor, Earl Swithhelm of Lindsay, is suppo uh, supposedly traveling around Wessex, trying to find both documents uh, and supporting him and legitimizing his claim. I need to do something about it fast. Okay, I could make him disappear, or I can try to bribe him. I'm going to try and make him disappear. We have a 50-50% chance, and let's see what happens. We might get him. The assassin I sent failed miserably, and the trou troublesome uh, Chancellor Earl uh, Swithhelm of Lindsay continues his work to fabricate a claim on my title. Who is this Earl Swithhelm of Lindsay? Hmm, he's from Mercia. No wonder. No wonder. We will still stand strong and be steadfast. And hopefully, we will be able to... Expand into Mercia as well. Uh, now we have a couple of things we can do here. We can promote a commander, which I think I should do sometimes. I could invite a hold man to court or invite a noble. Hmm, I'm not too sure because if I take a look at my minor titles, what happened to our chancellor, Earl Osmond? He has a black eye. He is black-eyed, so he is not going to be too happy about that. What happened to our steward? We can either have our son as the next steward, or we can have uh, Arnwolf or Lith with Laura. You can be the next steward. Uh, I think his father died. Let's just check and see. Yes, his father died. Yeah. Died of stress, too. Not very good. But hopefully we can keep his son happy. As one of our... Uh... Ooh. Let's give you a struggle, my good man. And since he is our kinsman, let's see if we can marry him off to somebody who can help us. Recently, I have noticed a pitiful state of my son, Earl Beothric. I have just been informed that that cause uh, that the cause of his aches and fatigue is a case of the flu. Call for my court physician at once. So, what was I saying? Yeah, our council hopefully stays happy, except for our chancellor, whose <laughs> land we just took up right from underneath him. We pulled the rug right from under him. And uh, next target would be the Earl of Surrey. So, same deal. I think we need, for a border dispute, we need 200 piety and 190 gold this time. It went 10 gold up because we are expanding our realm. We could plot to revoke uh, this county right here, but uh, looking at its holdings, it doesn't have much. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a very profitable county, plus the stewards from this county are like fantastic. He's got a 17 diplomacy score too, and a 17 learning too. He could actually be a very good spy master too. Hopefully, let's see if we can. Uh... No, our son can't be marshal right now. But anyway, my liege people of Constant uh, Constantinople have progressed beyond our own technological level. Very good. That means we get some tech points. I don't think we'll be able to spend any right now. But it is good nonetheless. Let's see if we might be able to maybe hold a fair, a summer fair. That would be nice. Although we did hold a summer fair last time. We could hold a feast next time. So that should be somewhere in December, if I'm not mistaken, or somewhere after November. This month is greater or equal to November, yes. So what else is going on in the realm? Let's take a look over at Mercy and see. He is... Ooh, he has a lot going on. He's in all these offensive packs right here. He has been busy indeed. Anything going on in Wales, we might be able to get an alliance off of this. A range of betrothal between... 
Uh, her and her kinsmen, hopefully, we can... No, they won't be willing to. Yeah, I just thought as much. Uh, let's see here. Would you be interested in a betrothal? No. King Alpha of Mercy is trying to usurp my title. His Chancellor is... Oh my god, again? This is like the second time now. Make him disappear. Hopefully we can get him this time. If we don't, we'll be ready. The assassin succeeded, yes. Finally. This troublesome guy is going to bother us no more. And we have our first kill here. Died under suspicious circumstances on 26th October, 775 at the age of 19. That's what you get when you mess with the King of Wessex. Nobody takes my kingdom from underneath me. What is he trying to do? Kill Beothric of Somerset. Hopefully we can ask him to stop and uh, not do that. That would be beneficial to us. Let's see if we can hopefully marry him off to somebody else. Does she have a claim? She has a weak claim on the petty kingdom of Northumbria. If we get her married off to one of our kinsmen, that would be nice. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, hopefully he stops plotting, and hopefully we can get him married off now. Oh, that's why it wasn't accepting. Yeah, she randomly disappeared. Okay, so some lord might have scooped her up. While searching for a lost chalice, I came upon a band of rogues who robbed me. There were too many. I lost 6.5 gold. Not very good. Let's see if we can improve any of our holdings. Uh, we can gain a fort level, or we might be able to gain another fort level here in Southampton. Uh, let's actually make our castle a bit stronger. Or actually, no. Let us let our piety build up, and then we can take the county of Surrey too. We could uh, let's take a look at our commanders. Actually, our commanders are not too great. My son here, he's one of the commanders. Let's actually relieve him of that uh, duty, shall we? Uh, let's see here. Earl of Lavora, he is my steward right now. Nine, he's a court tutor. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, you can be. I mean, as long as it's not seven or eight, we should be fine. Uh, okay, what else can we do? We can hold a feast, not yet. It is, the score is ticking up though, to November. So as soon as that gets over to November, we will be holding a feast. And hoping that all our vassals are happy. Let's take a look at our vassals right now. My son is not too happy because he was just, uh, because we declared an unjust war and he wants to see it on the council. But it's still 87, it's not too bad. Plus 87, that is. As whereas Osmond of Surrey is at a score of minus 19. What is going on now? Your marshal has initiated a massive recruitment drive. Fantastic. Our steward is trying to fabricate a claim on our kingdom. Let's see if we can ask him to stop. No, he won't. He won't end the plot. We have a 52% chance of success. Let's try and uh, imprison him, shall we? Okay, we succeeded. We'll probably hire. Uh, probably have our son as our steward for now. That'll make him a bit more happier. You can collect taxes here, son. 
and we don't have the revoke title uh, law yet. Let's see if we can actually establish that. No, we can't. Until 13th January 1779, so not a, quite a few years still from now. I should have taken that law before the low centralization law, but uh, yeah. That's what happens when you cross me. Let's see if we can actually release him and gain uh, um, an accessible amount. No, we can't. We can't release him either. We can execute him, but I'm not going to do that right now. We do have a faction building up. A 39% score. 145 men, not too bad. We're not going to worry about this faction right now. But if we had the revoke law initiated, we could do a lot. We could actually revoke uh, our vassals, uh, or the Earl Arnwolf of Withwara's law, uh, land, I should say. Uh, my prisoner, the Earl of Withwara, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodation. Should we let him rot, or very well, I shall be merciful. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I will gain the merciful trait though. But I don't want him like fabricating more claims on my kingdom. Yeah, I'm not gonna release him just yet. And hopefully that should be all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.